Hey guys, it's Dave, and today I'm going to be opening up three WWE Elite figures that I picked up. These are some awesome looking figures. I got them all from Toys R Us, found them on the shelves. I have uh, two that are first time in the line. I love collecting these figures. I really like getting the old school ones of uh, wrestlers that I grew up watching. First one I'll show you, and first I'll show you in the box, then I will open them and we can review them um, out of the box and up close. Uh, so the first one I have here, first time in the line, it's the Flashback Series. It's Dr. Isaac Yankum DDS. If anybody remembers Isaac Yankum, he came to the WWE as Jerry Lawler's dentist. I think it was like to exact revenge on Bret Hart, if I remember correctly. Um, if you don't recognize um, Isaac Yankum, he's Kane. It's Glenn Jacobs, who played Kane, who played the fake Diesel. Then next one, I got another first time in the line. And this looks like a big, heavy figure. It is, um, uh, again, another flashback to WWE Elite. It's Warlord. Warlord was like one of those big... Uh, brawlers back in the day. He used to have a lot of matches, I remember, as a kid with British Bulldog. Um, and he used to be with, uh, was it Paul Roma as Power and Glory? Um, I believe that was a tag team. I think they were managed by Slick, if I remember correctly. The ring attire uh, says here from WrestleMania 7 back in March 24th of 1991. So there you go, we got the Warlord. The last of the elite figure I have here, it is Mick Foley's Mankind with Mr. Sacco. He comes with the mask, Mr. Sacco, and the championship belt. Absolutely love this. I am trying to find and collect all of the Mick Foley characters. Um, I think I have all but maybe one or two. Uh, so this is uh, really awesome to add to the collection. All right, so I have them opened up. I'm going to bring them in close and show you uh, how they look. First, we'll go with uh, Isaac Yankum, DDS. He has the uh, white dentist shirt on. He comes with like the headgear there, the dentist wear. Um, he's got the blue pants. Uh, pretty cool looking figure. Um, I would love more of these old school oddball character toys. Um, I always loved those crazy gimmicks. Um, and I would like to see more like Bastion Booger and Damien Demento, Waylon Mercy. I want to see a lot of them. Uh, that'd be great. But there you go. There's Isaac Yankum, DDS. The next one I'm going to show you, and this one comes on a stand which I'm actually I like the ones that are coming with the stands lately makes it a lot easier to display them but it is warlord and there he is with his warlord staff he looks really really nice uh, they made him big bulky which he was muscular very cool looking figure and there he is he's got the mask on he's got the um, gear here that he used to wear down to the ring and he comes with a stand and then the last one I have here is mankind with mr. Sacco and he had, it comes with the WWE Championship, the old school one. And he also has a tie here. It's funny with the WWE logo, as you could tell there. You can see that with the WWE logo all over. It's got Mr. Sacco. This comes right off and you can put it right back on. I'll leave it on. He has his mask, the white shirt, the black like sweatpants, the white shoes. And he comes with the old school, really big round WWE Championship from the late 90s. Really awesome, great figures. I love these WWE Elite figures. Let me know what you thought of these three. Let me know what are some oddball gimmick figures that you would like to see. Like I mentioned, um, Waylon Mercy, Damien Demento, uh, Repo Man, Red Rooster. I love all the crazy characters. So let me know what you think. Let me know some that you wanna see. Let me know if there's any legends out there that you wanna see that haven't been done yet. Uh, leave your comments below. Remember to like and share this video. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. If you are subscribed, hit the little bell. That'll give you notifications for all of our future videos. And you can find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Everyday Geek TV. Thanks, guys. Adios.